all right everybody welcome back to the m4 outdoor channel got my guide back there for us we're fixing to put the boat in and we're gonna go and try to catch some cobia and triple tail all right we got her locked up got the boat in the water And we're going to see what happens. This is my guide, everybody. Forrest, tell them what's up. Howdy, folks. <laughs> tell them what we're going to be catching today. Going for Kobe and Triple Tail. Got about a 20-mile run. And where are we at? Gulfport, Mississippi, Small Craft Harbor. That's right. All right, guys, we'll update you on the way out there. We're going to get everything settled and see what we can do. Got to catch a little bait. That's right. All right, guys, so we come on out about, I don't know, 40, we say about 40, 40 yards. Oh, I got a fish on. Oh, hold on, guys. He got me, fish on. he got me with his spinning rod with the handle backwards. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, he got off. Golly, we needed that sucker. Come on, All today. right, I'm going to have to put this camera down so I can focus. I got to flip this handle around because I, I, I can't do this. I'm right-handed. But and, my, and now my guy's getting on me, so we'll be back. But guys, we're just catching some bait real quick, and uh, and then we're gonna really get after it. So stay tuned. All right, everybody, we caught us some bait fish. We caught a couple croaker and a flounder and a couple of things we ain't gonna talk about. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm just kidding. We're headed out. We don't know of the, where that crab we, came from. Yeah, we don't know where that crab came from. But we're headed out of the harbor now, uh, or marina. Y'all call it a harbor or marina? Either one. Okay. We're headed out of the harbor marina now. We're gonna go out about, what'd you say, 30 or 40 miles? 25 is 25. Okay, about 25 miles where we start and then kind of fish our way back in. The water's real, real slick today, um, so it should be pretty good fishing. So this is a pilot structure. A buoy floats in the water. If you didn't know that, you do now. <laughs> so Forrest is going to run us through uh, kind of what we're going to do. He's getting a few things set up, but he's going to talk to us while he does it so we can kind of get a feel for things. All right, so we're out here today targeting triple tail cobia. Uh, both of these fish really like to hang out on structure. Um, the Gulf water right now is, you know, upper 80s. Uh, really, really warm. So a lot of times they hang on these structures just for the bait fish and it provides a little bit of shade. So we'll pull up to the structure, circle it one or time, see if we see anything off the bat before we fish it. Uh, if we do, we'll you know accommodate to that fish, that species, either throw it a live bait or some dead shrimp. Uh, if we don't see anything, we'll go ahead and either jig or just triple tail fish. Most of the time you won't see the triple tail. Uh, you'll just catch them. Uh, so we'll look first and then we'll fish it and move on to the next one. That's how our day's gonna go. All right, so everybody, just so you know, in one of my other videos I told you, I don't really have hardly any saltwater experience. I've been out on, on the ocean a couple times, maybe three. Uh, but guys, don't be scared to, to go out and do stuff. You know, I don't know anything about this. Forrest is teaching me as I go. A lot of people I feel like will say, well, I don't know how to do this, or I don't know how to do that. Well, that's okay. I don't know how to do any of it either. Um, you link up with somebody good like Forrest or a guide, and uh, if they're a good guide, they'll take care of you. They'll show you what you're supposed to be doing, what you need to do, and you know, make sure everybody's safe and, and have fun. But that's what it's all about, having fun, getting out there, learning. If you don't try it, you're never gonna learn. I mean, you, you, got, you got to get out there and try it, whether it's fishing, hunting, just going outside and riding four-wheelers, it don't matter. If you don't know how to do it and you never try it, you're never gonna learn. So that's what it's all about. We're gonna have fun out here and we'll keep you guys updated. All right, everybody. So when you're looking for a cobia, you don't really fish for them. You gotta spot, spot fish them. So we got Forrest up there in the tower and he's just gonna kind of circle around and look and see what he sees. And I think we're gonna run up and start fishing buoys. Calls this one the Leaning Tower of Cobia. 
I don't know where he gets the leaning part from, but. Oh, that's like <laughs> I guess that's a Mississippi thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ripline, right? Yeah. So the ripline is is where two different waters meet, and there's a there's a color change, and you can see it just shoo, straight down. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it on the camera, but it's pretty cool. And what's crazy, guys, is how far out are we right now? Thirteen miles. So so we're about thirteen or fourteen miles out, and if you look right here. Eighteen feet. That's it. So it's not really deep out here. It, it surprised me. I figured it'd be way deeper. Nothing. So we're gonna ride out with it. All right, guys. What we're using today for bait is just dead shrimp. We pop the tail off. We pop the head off. Just stick him on there. Sometimes if you get some small ones, Forrest told me we want to be baiting pretty heavy, so and sticking two of them on there. Whether it matters or not, I don't know. But he said put two, so that's what we're gonna do. All right. Let's try to find his mama. There he is. Good. Forwards. We got it. Got him? Oh yeah. All right. Been dry all day, guys. All day. And Forrest long. just hooked him a good one. Finally found his one. A good one too. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Old flat fish. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That's a good one. We're going to have to blur the numbers out. We don't want nobody knowing where we're fishing at. I'll have to go in there and tell them we're fishing out of Coca Tree, Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> have to refill from this one. <laughs> We got a little baby on. We can't touch forest, but we got a little baby TJ on. TJ is hooked up. Woo! Let's see what we got up here. Come to daddy. See, see how mine's right there in the lip? I didn't want to hurt him, you know? <laughs> Catch and release hey, out here. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. All right, you told me there's some razor blades on this joker somewhere. Yeah, yeah, right here in the gills. They're worse on the, worse on the small fish. You see them right here? Yep. Yeah, hold that and I'll point them out. Ah, okay, I see them kind of see yep. i don't know if the light's right for that camera but you yeah. can see it's jagged yeah. almost like teeth yeah and them suckers will cut you up okay all right here you go now this one here ain't a keeper what's the what's the minimum length to be got to be 18 inches for 18 it to go inches. in the boat well for using my tape measure this is 18 inches <laughs> yeah well you know See that guy? Show, show them to the folks. Baby triple tail. Stand on the side. Y'all see that right there? Now, why are they calling them triple tail? One, two, three? Yep. Looks Makes like sense, it's got three huh? tails on it. All right, guys, we're going to let him go and let him grow up and come back and catch him bigger next year. See if he'll swim off for us. There he goes. There he goes. All right. 
Hey, TJ. Hey. Let's go find Mama. Let's go find Mama. Let's do it. You gotta be kidding me. You just perfectly got it in that gap. It's all right, I got it perfectly out. <laughs> no. That one's that one was for YouTube guys. Did that for y'all. And what we're doing guys, what we're supposed to do, what I'm supposed to do, Forrest been fussing at me the whole day. I I keep getting confused with the, the waves and the current. They ain't they ain't necessarily the same. So I'm wanting to throw up current so it drifts down. Kind of like so. Reel it in? Not like so. There, I don't know. Brim. Big old brim. Saltwater, Saltwater brim. Saltwater brim. Look at that. He still ain't no keeper. But that's two. About three inches bigger than the other one. Three Another inches. three more inches. We'll be going in yep. the box. There guys, another triple tail. Still small. That's alright. They're fun to catch. Pull it to you when it come on this side. Right there, just leave it. Pull on it a little. He ate it. Go. It's a hook. Got him, boys. Got him hooked up. Got him, Got him hooked up. All right. Don't force him. All right. We're good here. Coming down. That's a good one, too. That's a good one, guys. It ain't as good as Woo! Look at it jumping. what you hooked into another big old brim big old saltwater brim <laughs> triple tails how it might measure up it'd be close yep yeah. oh it's all right he, he wasn't gonna measure up anyways There's another one on yep there. we're gonna go get the other one. the other one's bigger he's right on this side of the pole Got to get up this way. Current's coming straight this way. Oh, it's going right to left right now. Yeah. All right, let's sit right there. Let it just let it float. Eat it. Eat it. Pull it. Pull on the stone. Stop it. There's no, that's a small, a small one. one. Pull it. Pull it. Pull, pull it away from the small one. He went down after it. That small one just tried beating him to it. Let it go, let it go. 
You want to be right on the pole. Now I'm too far away. Yeah. All right. He tried to eat it. Of course, I didn't start the GoPro. It's a small one now. It's all right. Another one. Oh, no mice. Catfish. Oh, boy. Me and these catfish, we're going to go rounds today. All right, we're back on the same piling. We're going to see if we can catch his buddy. We saw a second one over there. See, see what we can do with it. Go ahead and do what you got to do. All right, everybody, that's it. We done. Calling it a day. We calling it a day. We caught a couple small ones. And look at that. That jerker takes up the whole cooler just about. We headed back to the house. All right, guys, we got it pulled out. Getting her cleaned up. Getting all the crap out. <sighs> Guys, this boat is immaculate. It's been very well taken care of. If any of you guys are interested in seriously looking for an ocean boat, um, I'm gonna stay in touch with Forrest and whenever he gets ready to, to put it out there, I'll send a link to you guys and uh, maybe you can link up with them if you're interested in one. This boat's been very well taken care of. Motor's rinsed every time, pull it out the water, getting rinsed right now. Got quick connects on it. I'm gonna tell y'all though, this ain't a boy's boat. This is a man's unit. I don't know about, I don't know what's going on with the tow rig. Gotta have to talk to him about that, but barely pulled it out of the water. Anyways, that's another story for another day. All right, everybody, we're back in the great state of South Carolina. Um, you just watched the fishing video if you made it this far, and it was a lot of fun. I learned a lot of stuff. It's definitely not at all what I had in mind for ocean fishing. I knew we weren't gonna be trolling, but I thought we would be you know, in one spot, maybe fishing bottom or something, but it was really cool. Uh, triple tailor, a lot of fun to catch. 
they do have to be the 18 inch minimum to keep them so some of you are probably saying if you watch the whole video where we tried to snatch that one out of the water by the uh, by the line and it broke you're probably like oh why, why would you do that well we forgot the net go figure and obviously it was way too far out to come back to get the net so we didn't want to gaff him because 95 percent of the time if you gaff a fish he's probably going to die and that fish was so close to measuring up, we didn't want to risk killing it if it wouldn't, if we couldn't keep it. That's just the, the sportsman's thing to do. You don't want to kill a fish or any animal if you don't intend to keep it, eat it, you know, mount it, whatever, whatever your plan is. But definitely don't want to kill one if you don't have to. So that was the reason for that. It was unfortunate, it would have been close, but who knows. Anyways, it was a ton of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, in just 11 days, we're giving away the center point. 11 days. Make sure you get entered. It's totally free. Two videos before this one in the, in the description is how you can get entered. Totally free, guys. There's no reason you shouldn't be entered. You don't have to pay anything. All you have to do is click the little link. It'll take you to the website to get entered. And this can be yours. Um, if you haven't watched the reviews on it, please go watch them. It's been really fun and really interesting comparing it to a high-end crossbow like the raven and seeing how it matched up to it it was pretty impressive so if you haven't watched that go watch it if you haven't entered a win definitely go enter to win and if you have any questions about the ocean fishing trip uh put them in the comments below and if i can't answer them i'll call forrest and he'll definitely be able to answer them he's savvy on all that stuff it was a ton of fun also shout out to forrest thanks for taking me it was an awesome time and and dealing with me and teaching me everything so anyways guys thanks again for watching we hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time